Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocket Erase, and in this uh, third video, I'll be talking about uh, using regular expressions to tokenize your sentences. Uh, basically, tokenizing your uh, words in a sentence, not exactly sentences. So, you might be knowing what a regular expression is. Uh, it is uh, quite useful uh, to, you know, um, generalize the kind of expressions that you can use. So, if you don't know about uh, regular expressions, I highly recommend that you should start, uh, you know, learning how, how to express them. So, something like, uh, uh, I'll just write it down over here. So, something like uh, backslash W uh, within, uh, uh, you know, uh, within a square bracket would uh, generally mean uh, anything that has a letter. So, it's like a word. So, but if at all, uh, I give a plus. It means a letter followed by a letter and so on. Like it, ha it can have ha as many letters as you want. Similarly, if I give it a D, uh, what D means is a digit. So it means a number specifically. So that is uh, how you can use uh, to, you know, to tell the computer that you're looking for a sequence of digits because, you know, there's a plus over here, as you can see. So if you don't want uh, uh, D or, or W, you can also give something called backslash S. S would mean uh, space, but uh, over here in this situation, uh, the plus can be inside. So you can uh, just, uh, you know, you can just say a plus over here and uh, you're done. So this is what uh, in general uh, you uh you know you can use your uh, regular expressions uh, i mean this is the general way that you use them so right now i'll be focusing on how you can use these general expressions so that you know your, some words cannot be missed like just like you've seen in the previous video uh there's a word called won't and words like uh the uh, words like can't and uh, won't which are contractions which have an apostrophe uh inside uh, they will actually get divided uh, when you're tokenizing it. So how do you avoid that? Uh, the way you simply avoid it is by, you know, just telling the uh, telling the tokenizer or Python that uh, uh, whatever uh, words it is scanning, in that word, if it is finding an apostrophe, do not uh, break it into two parts. So for that, what we can do is we can use uh, something called a regular expression uh, tokenizer so it is something like this regex underscore tokenize so if you remember we had a sent underscore tokenize for uh, tokenizing a paragraph into sentences and then a word underscore tokenize to uh, uh, to basically divide or tokenize uh, words uh, in a particular sentence so uh, similarly what we do is uh, we have something called a regular expression underscore tokenize so enter Python, I'll just uh, show you quickly how it can be done. So uh, as usual, you have two methods. One is the helper class method, which is not, uh, which is nothing but this. Uh, so from uh, NLTK dot uh, tokenize import reg x underscore tokenize. So if you remember, we had something called sent underscore tokenize that I just talked about and also the word underscore tokenize. All these methods are basic uh, helper functions. So you can also instantiate a class the way we did in the previous uh, tutorials. Uh, I mean, there are two ways to do the same thing. Uh, one is an one is using the helper class, and the other one is instantiating the object. So, anyways, I'll I'll show you the first one and then go to the next one as usual. Uh, so I'll hit enter. So it is accepted. Now, what it uh, what you have to do is that you have you can just directly use the regex underscore tokenize. So uh, before that, let me just give a, a, a variable a sentence called, uh, I'll just give a string called, I can't do this, I won't uh, do that. All right, so, so this is our sentence. Now this sentence needs to be, uh, what do you call it, tokenized. Uh, from NLTK dot tokenize, uh, import word underscore tokenize, if you remember, if I do word underscore tokenize, I'll get, uh, you can see that I'm getting CA and then <clears throat> followed by N apostrophe T. And I showed you in the last video how you can use other uh, tokenizers. 
like tree bank tokenizer and punk uh, word punk tokenizer similarly we have a regular tokenizer which will take in regular expressions so we have uh, borrowed we have imported uh, word underscore tokenize similarly we have done reg underscore tokenize and word underscore tokenize takes only one argument but uh, regex underscore uh, tokenize takes two arguments so what you need to do is you need to tell uh, you need to give it uh, the sentence but at the same time you need to uh, you need to tell it uh, uh, you know what are, what is your what is the regular expression that you're looking for so you open up uh, uh, double quotes and then you just uh, say uh, w and then followed by an apostrophe to tell it that this can be followed by uh, i mean apostrophe and then plus to indicate that you know you can have uh, many characters after the apostrophe so when i close it and when i hit enter bingo so you can see that you have i can't do this i won't do that over here but over here you see that wo and nt and nt are being separated but that is not the case when you're when you're doing it with regex so regex uh, is very powerful it will allow you to do uh, a lot of things like this uh, at the same time you can also say regex uh, sent one and let's test out what it will say if i you know if i don't uh, provide the apostrophe i'll just uh, 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 skip it and then uh, i'll just give a plus and let's see what happens so so as you can see over here you have can and then you have uh, t separate and do this but we are missing the apostrophe so this is how regex works and if at all i give it uh, uh, this but i remove the plus it will actually give me individual uh, uh, letters but it will also definitely give me the uh, what do you call the apostrophe uh, because i am supplying it over here i hope this is uh, understandable so uh, if at all you have any problems you can comment out or you can just uh, 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 go back and watch this video again you can comment uh, below as well i am uh, very much uh, i mean interested in i mean i'm open to your comments and i'll i'll definitely help you out if you have a problem so similarly uh, as i was saying there is something called instantiating so what you can do is that uh, so from nltk.tokenize you can import uh, reg x oops sorry reg x uh, tokenizer <coughs> All right, sorry. Uh, so it, it is a uh, capital E over here. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, so there is a spelling mistake. So tokenizer. All right, so I think uh, it is regex. All right, sorry guys. So this is the correct spelling. So I just missed it out. Sorry to waste your. Uh, sorry to have wasted your time. So after that, what you do is that you need to uh, specify the tokenizer as the function of regex uh, tokenizer and then in this you will feed in the whatever you would want like uh, just now we just gave a backslash w and then we are giving another uh, bracket followed by a plus and then just uh recall you know uh just uh, close it um, yeah so after this is done, uh, what you can do is uh, you can say tokenizer dot tokenize uh, and then sentence one. So as you can see, this is working pretty fine. So uh, similarly, you can do a lot of things, guys. So you can just say tokenizer dot tokenize. Uh, you can give any other sentence at, of your choice. So you can say uh, burst uh, this can. Oops, sorry, I should have put it uh, in double quotes. All right, so as you can see over here, bu uh, burst this can't, uh, it's, it's, it's getting uh, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, it is, uh, I mean, it is being recorded fine. So this is how regular expressions are pretty much powerful and you can use them uh, and, you know, you can, uh, you, can not, you can be sure that you won't miss your can'ts, won'ts and all your, words which have apostrophes in them uh, i think uh, this would be pretty much useful with uh, a lot of uh, french words as well because they contain uh, you know a lot of uh, 
you know diacritics uh, in in between so it will be like uh, say la v so i think yeah so as you can see this is being uh, printed on so i think uh, that's uh, just a uh, you know brief introduction so i hope you liked it guys uh, so i hope you have learned something as well so if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and also share the video also subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll come back with another amazing video thanks a lot for watching bye bye